This is crazy. We are absolutely outnumbered here. Holy crap, they have so many people here. There's probably, I don't know, 2,000 people for the opposition and 40 for us. problem with legal immigration at all. How do you feel about the Arizona law? It's a shame they had to bring that to the forefront like that just to get it enforced. I understand that uh, there are certain groups out there trying to uh, maybe create a boycott of San Francisco after San Francisco city leaders are trying to boycott Arizona. Mm -hmm. Is that true? I have canceled my husband's 50th birthday here in this city. He's got 14 brothers and sisters, 80 nieces and nephews, not counting his family and friends from around this state of California, we were going to come to San Francisco. I can't support Gavin Newsom. He should keep his nose here in San Francisco. And he should have stopped any travel to any other state just to save money in the first place. We stayed for two and a half hours that day. And I'm proud to have stood with my brave friends and neighbors. The SFPD did an excellent job of protecting us from a mob that included many illegal immigrants. 
who tried to stop us from exercising our rights as American citizens as they demanded theirs. The police escorted us to the parking garage and those who took public transportation to the Bay Area Rapid Transit Station. The politicians, the pro-illegal immigration groups like La Raza, unions like SEIU, and the liberal media had accomplished their goal to work these crowds into a frenzy. And they did it by lying. Anyone who wants sealed and secured borders and their country protected is a racist and a horrible person. I did feel racism that day, but not from that one-way street that always leads to white America as the L. Sharptons and the Jesse Jacksons of the world would have you believe. This racism was from the other side, and it hit us like a hurricane. We accomplished our goal, which was to stand up for the more than 200 million Americans who want legal immigrants only in our country, and who want illegal immigration, with all of its negative side effects, to stop. Stop the crime, stop the gangs, stop sapping our social services, stop the overfilling of our schools and our hospitals, and stop draining taxpayer money. Our states are broke, and our citizens have had enough.